Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow video on your Facebook business page. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Firefox and I'm on my Facebook page at the moment and I'm going to click on share a photo or video. And in the previous tutorial we created a photo album so you can go to my Facebook page and view that tutorial. But in today's tutorial we're going to create a slideshow and we can add 3 to 10 photos to create a video. So I'm going to click here and the first thing I'm going to do is add the photos. So I'm going to click add photos and if you've got some existing images you can use those or if you want you can upload new photos. So I'm going to upload and in this example I've got some uh, example website projects that I've done and I made some nice sort of graphics out of them. You can have a look. Uh, let's have a look at this one. You can see they look like this. And I want to use 10 of these to make a video slideshow. So I'm going to select 10 of them. That's so one, two. Okay, so I've selected 10, I'm going to click the open button here. When I click the open button, the images will get uploaded to Facebook and it's going to show all 10 of them down here, the 10 that I've selected. I didn't have to select 10, but I've got more than 10 images anyway, so I selected 10. Now, this is the first one that's going to show in the slide. If you're not happy with that, you can drag and drop them and reposition the ordering. So we may want to show this one first, for example. You can see the image getting changed here. You can change the position into whatever position you feel is suitable for the starting slide here. So I'm going to actually use uh, this one first. I'm pretty happy with the ordering at the moment. Now, there's aspect ratio here. And normally I leave this as original, but one thing to note is when I uploaded these images, they were all the same width and height. So it's good when you make these video slideshows, try and make sure all your images are the same width and the same height. It doesn't matter if they're horizontal or vertical or square, but try and make sure they're all the same width and height. That will make the video look better. Here I can select the, the duration, the pause in between the slides. And I'm going to select four seconds because I want people to be able to see the content uh, before it goes to the next slide and the transition I'm going to have it set to fade I'm going to click the play button and we can see this example so it'll be about four seconds and it's going to slide into the next picture in this sequence here and then the last thing you can do is add some music so I'm just going to pick a music track I'm, you can select all the different genres here you can upload your own music here if you like or you can pick one that's already on Facebook I'm going to go to modern and use this chill wave. Once I select chill wave, I'm going to click create slideshow down here to complete the job. So here you can see uh, Facebook is going to create this post. It's asking me to write something here. So I should say something about this video. So I'm going to say DCP example website projects video I'm also going to put a link to my portfolio so I'm going to click on the portfolio link here copy it and paste it here so we've got DCP example website videos DCP example website project projects let's get rid of the word video and then view more example work here and then they can click on this link and it will take them to my face uh, to my portfolio here so the last thing I need to do is click publish but one thing you must know is when you click publish it takes a little bit of time it takes about one or two minutes for the video to appear on your timeline because the video has to be created so I'm going to click publish and I'm going to pause this video and then once it's published, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so it took about 
two minutes for the video to appear on my timeline. I had to refresh the timeline, just reload the page here. And you can see the video here and you can click play and it's going to play through the different slides. You can mute the audio if you don't want to have audio, you don't have to use audio as well. And uh, pop open as well. So you can have this little pop-up window show. Uh, people can move it around the screen. You can continue to use Facebook with this open as well. And you can view it full screen by clicking here. So I hope you find that tutorial useful. And... Um, Look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.